Okay. And um, one of the questions I had, actually your last answer touched upon that a little bit. I wanted to know, what did you learn about playing this role, like some of the history considering the time period? And also, how do you feel that your character compares to your character on how to get away with murder? Um, well, like, look, I, I mean, I love playing both of these characters. Uh, but you know, Michaela, Michaela on how to get away with murder, very modern, driven by different things. Uh, yes, a sense of social justice, but mostly out to, uh, you know, make sure she's gonna have her happy ending. Right. Um, versus Harriet, I think Harriet thinks so worldly like Harriet, she is just, she she's going to have just an overall greater impact on the world at large. She's someone who's willing to sacrifice herself to make that happen, um, you know, which is like, and that was like also one of the things that we kind of wanted to, to touch on a little bit just like the ways in which black women especially put themselves put their bodies on the front line and and are just so willing to to sacrifice themselves for the greater good but how it's also important to make space and take care of themselves because the fight's going to be a long one so we gotta last you know mm -hmm. um but yeah, like I, I, I feel like that's kind of the main, the main difference be between them. Like Harriet's thinking is, is just a little larger uh, in scope. Um, and then, like, yeah, in terms of learning, just learning more about the Sugar Hill community here and the devastation of that freeway being created, and how how they had an option to go through. Uh, fraternity and sorority row of USC, which is still here. And that community is not. Um, and how, you know, the Sugar Hill community, like originally West Adams, it was one of the first neighborhoods hoods that was developed in LA. And it was home to a mostly white population because of the racially restrictive covenants that didn't allow black people to own homes in the area. But then there was a Supreme Court case that passed that invalidated that in 1948. And that's when black people started being able to like legally move in, but it was still a fight, like, of course. Um, and, and once black people started moving in, then the white people started moving out and developing Beverly Hills. And so it was just, it was really interesting, like learning, oh, okay, like, you know, like, oh, so they are all living over here. And then the second, like, black person, moved, they all moved over there. <laughs> and, you know, and then like, oh, now I want to build a freeway. And it's like, and just how freeways, especially like decimated so many thriving black populations, like, like that was the institutional racism that like, that, that the tool of it was being used in order to, to level um these communities um and yeah like i'll i'll never be able to drive that from down that freeway the same way of course because it's like it hurt i mean it, it hurts you know learning mm -hmm. about this stuff always hurts it hurts it's kind of a twofold hurt hurt that it happened and hurt that you never learned about it really mm -hmm. you know and mm -hmm. so i mean i'm just grateful that i got to participate in honoring the people that did fight against it and telling their story. Nice, thank you. And it it makes me look at the fire that happened there uh, recently a bit different. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right.